Hi everyone, today is December 8th, two weeks before winter solstice and the official start of winter. And this is an update on my subtropical fruit garden. Typically we don't have any rain for at least six months from May to November. And the mountains near Santa Barbara become extremely dry and the fire hazard increases uh, towards November. Unfortunately this year we had a cave fire started at the end of November and it looked very bad. So here is a picture of what it looked like from the street nearby. Luckily uh, two days after the fire started we had our first rain and it put out the fire so the first rainstorm brought about 2.2 inches of rain and we just had another rainstorm which brought another 2.3 inches of rain so we already got four and a half inches of rain this year which is looking good This is a mango tree, Manila mango. I bought two of these uh, in Home Depot. Manila mangoes are seedlings and they are the best mangoes to use here to establish a good root system and then you can graft the varieties of mango you want. So I reported this one after I bought it a few months ago and it already had one flash of growth. Cherimoya is growing very well. This is a honey heart Cherimoya. Golden Nugget Mandarin is having multiple flashes of growth as well. Mountain Ash Rabina variety. The grape in the pot didn't grow very well this year. We'll see how it does next year. And I also added a dragon fruit, American Beauty cutting in the same pot. The Izu persimmon tree is not growing very well and I'm going to replace it with um, another tree soon. Fuyu persimmon is growing very well. It's uh, somewhat of a dwarf tree because it's in the partial shade location because of the fir pine and the palm tree nearby and also the lockwood. This is the first year when it gave fruit and we had over a dozen persimmons here. We tried one, it's already very sweet and ready to eat. Yeah, birds found one. The lockwood tree is growing well, but it doesn't have any blooms. It looks like it's not going to bloom this winter. Maybe next winter.
kumquat has has several kumquats still green planted two mango seeds from stopboard canned mangoes and they sprouted quickly and currently stopped growing in the winter so hopefully they will resume in spring this is a misty blueberry seems to be an everbearing blueberry here blooming and producing blueberries continuously blackberry The star fruit is very green and bushy. It's blooming. They do give any star fruit yet, but it is possible. We will have a for a star fruit. This year. Babaco papaya keeps growing. So the fruit will probably ripen towards the spring. Passion fruit wine. Dragon fruit. This is American beauty variety. The long gun is looking good. It bloomed a lot this year and we have two fruit set. So this one. And another one. So we'll see if it ripens or not <coughs> in winter. This is a sunshine blue blueberry. The leaves are turning red. And it's also blooming. Anna apple tree had about a dozen apples which are very delicious I'm going to graft a branch of dorset golden in spring to increase the pollination chances Anna apple needs a pollinator to produce more crop black mission fig doing well I will clear the bush blocking the sun soon so that it has more sun in the spring it produced many figs this year 
the ice cream bean is growing super fast it's already over 10 feet tall and it's probably about one year old from seed This is the second Manila mango tree. This one was planted in the ground right after I bought the two of them and it did not have any flashes of growth this year. But it's likely because it's in a shaded position so I will remove the mosquito plant blocking the sun so it has more sun. Lancetia mango is looking good. I've had two flashes of growth this year. So this was the first flush, and the second flush. So all the leaves you see here grew this year. So it seems to be establishing well here. The potted persimmon tree unfortunately turned out to be a rootstock, so I bought it as a Maikawa Fui persimmon and I let the little shoot here grow and found out that the leaves are identical and they do not look anything like persimmon leaves. So in spring I will graft a couple of persimmon varieties on this tree and then plant it in the ground. Kerry mango. Didn't have time to plant it in the ground yet, so it's struggling a little bit in this small pot. Apricot tree, the unknown variety, shed most of its leaves. The aprium tree, I planted in spring, is growing well. Flavor delight aprium. Once I remove the honeysuckle it's gonna get more sun in spring cherry of the rio grande looks good cherry tree dropped all most of its leaves it had an okay growth this year so four branches hopefully it will start pushing more growth in spring The grapefruit, Oro Blanca, I cut it back to give it one more chance. Flora Gold Apricot, beautiful yellow foliage, looking like fall. <laughs> The pear trees growing well, no pears this year. So I'll need to clear the jacaranda above it a little bit to give it more sun.
so that it produces the first fruit hopefully next year. Dessert made pomegranate, growing well. <laughs> the avocado patch looks great. Got several fruits set. This is lamb has. Get four of these set. And over a dozen of reed avocado fruit. So this is reed. This one is the biggest so far. Strawberries and spices here. Purple tree colored. Here we planted garlic a week ago or so, and it's already started sprouting. It's half of the raised bed, still has the peppers and cucumbers. orange tree seems to have a lot of oranges this year and all the grafts are doing great Uh, pink Eureka lemons, pink lemonade. So we got many of these forming. So this is the first fruit from the grafts on this tree. Then we got Caracara navel orange, all this green growth. And the grapefruit. They are all growing very well. And you can see the thickness of the grapefruit graft, the caracara orange graft, and the lemon grafts. The red barren peach gave us some peaches, but this tree is really not growing, so we'll have to get rid of it soon. The grape plant. Pitomba grown well. It's a very slow in plant, but it's picking up every year. This is a Charville or Kona Charville avocado. I will be planting it in the front yard in a few days. It's 
drawing very well on the pot. Alright, let's move to the front yard now. The ash trees lost most of their leaves now. Barbados cherry is growing well. It didn't bloom this year, but it needs a couple years to establish. The apricot, which I grafted from original Katie variety into the unknown variety we have in the backyard, is doing well. The black grape is growing very vigorously and we had grapes this year. Santa Rosa plum produced a lot of plums as usual. Mariposa plum got a first plum out of it this year. I'm hoping for a lot more plums next year. In about a month, when the bare root tree season starts, I will plant a few blue trees around the edge of the lawn here. Grumichama, Dorset Golden Apple. Produces apples continuously throughout the year. And even in December, it has some apples ripening. Reverend Morgan apple with all the grafts. All of the grafts took, and it will be interesting to see how they go next year so we've got liberty a cane and williams pride here two of each king david apple tree with arkansas black grafts and hudson's golden gem and gold rush. So the grafts also doing very well on the apple tree. Red barren peach tree produced its first crop of peaches this year and it's growing nicely. Lemon guava starts to ripen the fruit as well as the new blooms starting on it. Another lemon guava. So this one didn't have any fruit this year, but it starts blooming. Here we have our three pineapple guavas. Nazimans gave us a couple of fruit this year. Tastes delicious. The mammoth guava is growing well. And the Coolidge pineapple guava is also growing well. So all of the pineapple guavas are very slow growing plants. The Frederick passion fruit wine. It's growing very vigorously and produces a lot of passion fruits. The 
passion fruits here in the front yard are bigger than passion fruits in the backyard, but there are fewer of them. Bemond tropical guava. Has several fruits set. And it blooms and sets new fruit continuously. Fruit Sapadia. This is my cock Sapadia variety, a very slow growing plant. Keeps blooming continuously, doesn't produce any fruit. Uh, maybe it will. Uh, looks like one fruit might have set here. Fig tree it's doing well. Produced many figs this year, including the figs on the grafts it made. This is a yellow long neck variety. Pomegranate, angel red, is producing very few fruit. We only have a couple of fruit every year on this plant, so I'm going to uh, graft multiple pomegranate varieties on this tree to see which one does better here. Mulberry Banana patch So here we have our dwarf green banana Dwarf Namwa Dwarf Namwa is blooming Hopefully it will resume growing in spring because it's unlikely it's gonna grow in winter. You can see the bananas inside the flower. And the ice cream bean banana it did not bloom this year. Parkanka, pomegranate. Growing well so far. This is where I will plant the uh, Conisharville avocado. 
once the ground dries a little bit. Big Jim Lockwood is growing very well, and there are two flower clusters on it, which hopefully will start producing fruit this year. is the winter update and if you like it please give it a thumbs up subscribe and I will try to post more updates in the coming months so the next update is going to be about planting the bare root trees in January See you. Have a good day. Bye.